Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a makeup tutorial today featuring one of my favorite palettes ever, the Steel and the Light palette. So I hope you like this look. I'm using my EOS Lip Balm and this is like the pomegranate flavor. It smells so good. Now I'm gonna use my Garnier Eye Roller. Uh, this doesn't have any tint to it or anything. This is just supposed to help with dark circles or puffy eyes and so does caffeine. <laughs> now I'm using my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Tinted Moisturizer and mine is in light. This is just a sheer tinted moisturizer with a satin finish. I didn't like this the first time I tried it, but it has been growing on me and I'm just blending this out with my fingers. You'll rarely ever see me use a full coverage foundation. I really like tinted moisturizers just because they sort of even out your skin tone and stuff and you don't have something too heavy on your skin throughout the day which in turn will help your skin to breathe and don't get as many blemishes and stuff like that. Kind of hard to beat in my opinion. So once that's all blended out, I'm gonna take my Mika Beauty Eye Primer and this is just a nude color. And this stuff has been growing on me as well. I feel like it's still a little bit sticky for my liking, but it does a really nice job of keeping eyeshadows on the lid. And also the color is just very neutral and it does a really good job of hide, hiding any like veins or discolorations. So once that's all blended out, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics spoolie brush and just brush through my eyebrows and that always feels so good. And I'm taking a BH Cosmetics angle brush and using this Pixie Brow Powder Duo and I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. I don't think they actually sell it in this small duo, but this is so great for uh, travel. So anyways, I'm taking both the colors and just kind of mixing them. I like starting with the lighter color and then adding the dark color later just because I feel like the lighter color is a little more forgiving to just figure out what shape you want to do and then you can fill in with the dark color afterwards. That's what I like to do anyways. So I'm not really creating any crazy shapes. I'm just going with my natural brow shape and just filling in any sparse areas. And then I'm brushing through that with this blue brush again. I just feel like it helps to make everything look more natural. And I'm taking this MSM Beano Gold Magic Finny Cream. I'm putting this on my forehead and it does a really nice job of blurring out any fine lines. So now I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer and mine is in 002 Light. I'm almost out of this concealer. Um, I'm using a crown brush. This is the C224 Oval Concealer Brush. And I am just putting the concealer on my eyes and I actually like to blend this out with my fingers once it's on my eyes. This is definitely a winter color for me. This is fairly light but I'm almost out of this. It's not my favorite concealer ever. I'm just kind of trying to go through my stash a little bit and finish up the stuff I'm almost done. Uh, but now I'm going to use one of my favorite concealers for blemishes. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Concealer and this is in uh, 02. And this smells so good because of the tea tree and it also just does a really good job of hiding any blemishes. I don't really have any blemishes right now, but I do have um, like discoloration from blemishes. So now I'm going to take this deal in the light palette, the star of the show with this Body Shop blending brush. And first I'm going to take Bliss and put that in my crease and just really work on blending that out so it's nice and feathery and there's no harsh lines. And this just adds a really nice warm dark you know crease color I did not explain that very well but I just love this color in the crease it's one of my favorites it's gonna be such a nice transition for what we're gonna do next so I'm just continuing to really work that into the crease now that that's all blended I'm taking bubbly and putting that on the lid with this crown duo brush and I'm using the fluffy side this is just a really really pretty shimmery nudie gold color and it looks so so pretty on the lid and it just blends out so nicely and once i am happy with that i am taking the color night sky with the pencil side of the other side of this dual brush and i'm just going to be putting this into my outer v and then also working it up into the crease a little bit and really blending this out. Um, we're actually gonna be going in with some other colors to add a little bit more dimension, but I just wanna get a base of this color down. And this looks so, so pretty to me. It's not 
too bright a blue it's very wearable and once it's blended in with the bliss color i just think it gives this like so pretty purpley gray bluey uh, tone to the eyes so then once that's on i'm taking the blending brush again with bliss and just blending that out so it doesn't look so harsh So then once that's all blended out, I'm using the same pencil brush and taking sandstone and I'm just going over the outer V area, not taking this as far up in the crease, but just deepening the color in the outer V. And this is just a matte dark brown color and it does a really, really, really great job of this. And then once that is all added on, I'm taking kitten, which is like a cult favorite, and just popping that right in the center of my lid. And this is just going to help add that dimension that I was talking about. And I'm also putting that in the inner corner as well. It's just such a pretty color and it really, really makes the eyes pop. So now I'm going over the outer V again with night sky just to add a bit more of that blue color because I just wanted it to show a little bit more than it was. And then I'm blending that out again with the Body Shop blending brush. Now I'm taking this Expressions blending brush, just a clean brush, and taking Bare and putting that under the brow bone or on the brow bone and then in my inner corner as well. Now I'm taking this amazing Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner and this is in Sumatra and this has been one of my new favorite discoveries of 2015. I found this obviously at the end of the year. I think it is really, really new, but it is such a great liner. It is so creamy, but it stays put. I feel like creamy liners tend to smudge sometimes when you don't want them to. So I'm just adding a slight wing and then putting this on my upper waterline. And it is just so easy to use because it auto sharpens, if you will. Um, it's so easy to make a point on the end with a uh, cold liner. So I've just been absolutely loving this because I don't always want to use liquid liner just because I find they're more of a fuss to use. And this is also just so gentle on the eyes. I really, really can't say enough good things about this liner. I want to get in other colors for sure. If anyone else has tried this, let me know in the comments below if you're loving this and give this video a like. So now I'm going to take this NYX eye pencil and this is in velvet and it's just such a pretty light gold silvery color. I love putting this on my lower waterline and then also putting it kind of on my lash line at the bottom. It's so, so pretty and it's not as like stark and in your face as using a white. And then I'm taking this Stila Forever Your Curl mascara. And this is a sample that I've just started using. I don't like it on my upper lashes. It's just not kind of bam vavoom enough for me. <laughs> but I really like it on the lower lashes because the wand is so small. And it does a really nice job of separating your lashes. I just find it's not black enough. Um, but that's actually a good thing for me for my lower lashes because I don't like anything too dramatic. And here we go with the drama for the upper lashes. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This is a sample as well, and I've been loving this. This has the biggest wand ever. Such a contrast to the Stila Mascara. But this just adds such nice volume and length and blackness and everything. It's just everything. I love this mascara so much. So once that's done, I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for dark circles. This is the neutralizer shade. And uh, this concealer is okay. I just really don't understand all the hype. I've tried to love this. I think it's like, it's fine. It's just not my favorite. I totally need to try some new concealers out. And I'm just blending that out with my fingers. And then I'm going to set that with this Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in Natural Beige with the uh, Lancome Blush Brush. And then once that's all set, I'm going to take that pencil brush again from the Crown Brush Duo and take Night Sky and then just drag this on my lower lash line um, and then kind of meet that with the uh, upper outer V. And this is just going to balance out 
the upper and lower part of the eye and it just looks so pretty So once that's all done, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium deep and I'm just contouring with that. Just sort of the usual light contour under my cheekbones and around my neck and then on my temples. And this bronzer smells so good. And now I'm also going to use the Body Shop Shimmer Waves and I'm using this bronze color here. And I'm taking uh, the same BH Cosmetics blush brush and just adding that color to my cheeks just to warm it up. It's just such a pretty natural color. And the shimmer is not like super sparkly or too noticeable. And I'm taking the same shimmer waves, but this is in blush. And I'm adding that pink tone to my cheeks just because I wanted to make it a little bit more pink. And then I'm, I'm using the lighter side of that to highlight with the SL Miss Glam blush brush. And I'm just putting that on my cheekbones and then I'm also going to put that with my little finger uh, just what is that called you know the V on your lips I'm having a mind blank and then on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and then I'm blending that out with a brush again so now I'm going to take the Model Co. Illusion lip liner I have been totally loving this so much and I'm just lining my lips and also filling them in and this is just such a natural color it's just like a little bit darker than my lips are naturally and I'm just filling it in filling my lips in I should say and now I'm taking the NYX butter lipstick and this is in pop or pop explosive I'm not sure and it's a really really pretty mauve color and these are so buttery and creamy and I'm just blotting that with a tissue um, because I find the staying, pow the staying power of this is not the best ever, but I really, really like this lipstick color and it sort of matches my nails. I'm going over that with the NYX Butter Lip Gloss, and this is the same sort of color, just a little bit lighter. I think this is called Creme Brulee, and this is also super buttery. I love this combo. It's just such a natural look. So I really, really hope you enjoyed that look. I love this palette so, so much. I have been doing this look for so long and I just love it. I think it's great for daytime and nighttime. If you love this palette as much as I do, give this video a like and please subscribe if you're not yet and then you won't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time.